Hello, welcome. Try this problem out. And then when you're ready, press play and we'll solve it together. Dylan invested $600 in a savings account at a 1.6 annual interest rate. So that means if you start with $600 after the first year, you gain 1.6%. That's the same thing as multiplying by 100% and 1.6%. 100% includes the original $600 plus 1.6% on, on top of that. And that means we're really looking at 101.6% of the original. Now, percents, 101.6% 101 is the same as 1.016%. Uh, 1 1.016, excuse me. So we're multiplying by that amount every time we compound the interest for any amount of years. In this problem, we're doing it for two years, so we're doing that twice. And if we calculate this right here, we get 619.3536, that's our answer. If the explanation didn't make any sense, let me say it in a different way. You are dealing with compounded interest, so you know it's gonna be an exponential function. You put the starting rate here. And if you're gaining interest, if it's growing, right, you take one, the whole number, plus the percent gain, which is 0 0.016 or 1.6 percent, and you add that to get 1.016, and you multiply that repeatedly for the number of years that you have. If you're losing value, it would be 1 minus 0 0.016, right? And that would be uh, a decay function where you find that value, multiply it by re it repeatedly. Maybe you have um, something that's decaying or losing value over time and you would lose percentages. All right, thanks.